the Lord explains the man of perdition and the mark of the beast. He marks his people already, trumpet call of God. September 2004 from the Lord our God and Savior the word of the Lord spoken to Timothy for all those who have ears to hear this I say to you concerning the beast only now has the time come where man has made it possible for the one called sin evil and deceit the one full of much lying and abominable ways to rule. For by man's works has he now made it possible for the likes of this evil to gain control, even to accomplish all he has conceived of to do. In no time past were there such devices of men by which he could rule in this manner or chains such as these for him to shackle as many as he will, or the means by which he can devour as many as he will. Behold, now is the time for him to cast his net over the whole world, and who can escape? For his eye will reach far and wide, his commands carried out on a whim. Now is the time in which he can use the works of men for his evil purpose. Even from the heavens can he watch over his evil flock, and from the heavens can he destroy all those who oppose him, with fire, brimstone, and fervent heat. Even now does he watch and lie in wait for his due time, as the lion waits in the tall grass for the moment, the opportune moment to pounce and devour his prey. He has already begun to mark his people and eagerly do they go, to death do they go. He is a cunning one, this evil one, for he will also come upon the world as a thief and a savior of men, but he will lead them, coax them, and deceive them, and unto death will they go. And all who will follow him and take his mark will worship him, saying, Who is like this man, and who knows what he knows, and who can stand against him? Who? He is the one whom all have waited for. He will bring peace and prosperity to the nations. Many in that day will make a covenant with him, a covenant built upon the sand, the sands of false hope and great iniquity. They will rejoice in him until the day his true faces are revealed. Yet few will take notice, barely turning the head, for they have all become adopted children of perdition. In that day, they will be so far stuck in the mire of their sin and adultery, with their hearts hardened, their eyes accustomed to darkness, and their ears attuned to evil, that they will be unable to flee from that which is about to overtake them. Then, swift destruction will I pour out upon them with no respite, nor hope of salvation or escape, for their choice is made. Goats branded for the slaughter, vessels meet for destruction. I am the Lord.